do not hang up. And Ron, you say you're black and you're not celebrating White History Month. Why not? Well, I'm a Christian. Um, I'm actually married to a white woman, so I'm not the typical black person that you like to paint us all into a box. Not all, reason, not all, not all, not all, but most yeah, do not live all, in a box. Not all. I think that you, for some reason, um, you champion everything white people do. You discredit what black people do, and I think be bad on it. That's my issue with you. Do you agree with me that black people are already getting too much attention? I think they get negative attention. I think we should we should change it and focus on the good people and and tell the tell the. the Do you think that, that like, they get special of, a treat best special treatment? Do you think they get special treatment? I think they bring a lot of negative attention upon themselves. Do they get special treatment? No, I don't think they get special treatment. So affirmative action based I'm, on color. Being black is that special treatment? But that's not just. But that's just not black people. No, that's for Hispanic affirmative people. Affirmative action based there's, on color is that special treatment? Is black people the only color people? It, of it color started Hispanic out for the people? blacks, like everything it, else. The other folks take over, but it, is that are, special treatment, uh, Ron? Not for black people. It started out for black people, people Ron. It started out. Pre they pretended that it was for blacks, but. So that all these other people can hustle on to it. But is that special do treatment? Do I that is special I think it was needed. It's a special time. treatment. At at the time I thought I think it was needed. It's a special it treatment. I, I don't think so, no. I think it was so You're in denial, Ron. Right? You're not an honest man. I am an honest you're not an Are honest you man out of your cotton picking mind? So, Ron, is uh, affirmative action based on color special treatment? Is affirmative action? Yes, but it's not just for black people. You single out black people. When black so people, when black people are allowed to cheat on the air traffic controller test, is that special well, treatment? Well, well, let me ask you because you, you dodged my question. No, answer that first, and then we'll do, come back to your question. Is that special treatment? I don't know anything about that, so I'll have to we, look into we that. We've dealt so with it over and over on this show. You know about everything else. If I'm right about blacks who are allowed to cheat on the test because they're too dumb to pass it, is that special why, treatment? Why would, you say, why would you say blacks are too dumb to pass it? Because they're like, cheating. Like, why are you well, but my question, Ron, Ron, is that special treatment? If that is true, that is not equality, yes. It's a special treatment. I just answered that. If I didn't ask about true. no equality. I ask, if that is, is yes. that special treatment? If that is true, yes. All right. You had a question for me. Go ahead. Yes. So my question is, you're a black American. So have there been other black Americans deserve to be celebrated yes or no absolutely booker t washington george okay. washington carver clarence so, thomas and so, walter right, williams so, and, and alan west and sheriff right. clark and, <laughs> and so on right. and so on and scooby dooby doo it should it should be actually the indians were here so let's celebrate the Indian, native american they weren't history. doing anything they were just sitting back they smoking were here first. pot they got, they got, they got slaughtered. Oh, the no, they got here. slaughtered because they were high. So, so it's okay for me to run into your house if you're high, take over your house, and then celebrate my history in your house. They didn't oh, have Jesus, a house. They I'm had all, a tent. They had a, they, they had this whole nation. No, they anyway, had a my, tent my point is in out in the woods. They were warring against each other. They had nothing so, going on, man. So, so but Why are you married are, to a white woman, man? Where's your black wife? I, I fell in love with a white woman. We there were no black women around? Race. If if you're truly about uniting the There were no, black, met, there were marriage, no black women around? When I was in college, I went to a predominantly white college. And there was not one I, black I felt, girl walking around at that predominantly white school. Jesse, if you're about uniting the races, then my marriage is a picture of what America should be. Black people, white people, walking what? hand in hand, putting away their differences, 
and doing that. That's and right. So that's but listen, I'm, was there okay. one black girl walking around that school? Yes. Why you didn't there go was, after her? We we weren't together. The, the, did you hit on her? Classes together. Did you hit on her? Did we? Did I hit on who? That that one black girl that was walking around there. No, I didn't. But I didn't hit on my. Were you scared? It was something that had. It was something that happened naturally. We were in classes. We talked. Oh yeah. We became friends. Uh huh. And that so, was easy. So, so the thing is, you should. The that same way you champion everything else, you should champion everyone. All right, buddy. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate your call. Back in a moment. Welcome back. I'm Jesse Lee, Pe Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. The lines are smoking right now, but the number to call in is uh, 833. No, I'm sorry. 888-77-533. What am I saying? Maybe I'm being seduced by a Satanist. I own seven registered S corporations. I have 100 plus employees. As a business owner myself, I do believe that everybody has the right to run their company the way that they see fit. Nobody's got a gun to your head telling you you have to work for Hobby Lobby. Um, you, and so that part, of, that part of that freedom, I respect. And that, hence the reason why we wouldn't send the government in to shut down something that we don't like, something that Christians do on a very regular basis. They see something they don't like, and they feel as though they have the right to You're just making us up. Well, you, you do well, realize that nonprofits help people, and that's why they're exempt. No, no, really? Nonprofits help people? Yes. But let me ask. Uh, there's, uh, there's scientific proof out there now that abortion causes all types of problems for women, depression. Sure. Hey, and let me guess, written and by so, Christian scientists? And it's so funny I, because, you know, I always, I always hear Christians make these exaggerated claims of, oh, there's scientific proof. Really? Cite the proof. And so show as me the we, report. Show hold me up, the report Brian. By, show, me the, show me the report signed by a person, that, a scientist, not of your faith. You can do that, and then I might listen to what you have to say next. But you don't. Brian, you know, you want so to how, think, hold oh, on. Well, science is proven. Really? Well, show me the work. Show me the report. Brian, yeah, I re Brian calm down. Calm down, man. You're not acting like a well, man right you know, now. I'm trying to finish my question. You keep interrupting me. So I know, I'm but you're not, you're not acting like a man. Calm down. You're going to pay a lot more in taxes for welfare, subsidized housing, education. You're going to pay a lot more in taxes to support that kid for the next 18 years than you are going to be to terminate an unwanted pregnancy. Does the baby have a choice to live or die? No, because the baby is in the embryo. It's not a human being. Amazing. An acorn is not a tree. A silkworm is not a dress. A, a <laughs> sperm cell going into an egg cell is not a human being. Brian, it's not let's a say, difficult concept. Let's take some calls. Let's go out to Nashville, Tennessee and talk to Jarvis. Well, I hate to tell you, you idiot. You didn't get here by yourself. I hate to tell you that. You're right. We, we already I covered that. My mother you. had sex with had my father. That's that. all I got no, here. No, it ain't had nothing to do with that. You need to recognize what No, that's wrong. exactly huh? what it had to do with I don't think, no. I think you need to go back to, like, high school biology. Maybe and then, you failed no. sex ed. And you don't know how babies are made. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. You, you trust that book that changes on the daily basis. of science. That book? It no, changes on the daily changes. basis. You want to tell me about trust in a book yet you read from the Bible? Are you kidding me? Okay, let, 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 you know, let's quote a few. Let's quote a few. Let's quote a few Bible verses, shall we? The science book changes every day. The science book changes every day. Yeah, I know. You know why? Because it's called discovering new evidence and and, and, and furthering your hypothesis. It is a lie because they don't know what it is. A lie. You know that. Let me, let me take a break. Thank you, Job. It's back in a moment. Well, it's clear that well, Brian you know, we, is we a have, hater. Brian, it's you know, clear have, that you are a hater. You got a lot of, you have a lot of anger. Oh, and, you're, you're right. I, I, I'm not denying that. And you are, and, and your nature, father, like you, like and you your claim. nature is that of your father, the devil. You just don't want to admit it out, but you do serve Satan. Let's go to Guy out of Phoenix, Arizona. Guy, you're on with hey, Brian. Good morning, Jesse. Hey. And uh, thanks for exposing this uh, guy. Uh, when he called, he says he grew up on the streets of Chicago. Uh, homeless, and he became a millionaire, and all this other good garbage. This man is a liar, and he all he's trying to do is get across a political point. Oh, well, the difference and is, I have a tax hey, return buddy, to prove let it, me so. talk. Hey, hey, let me talk. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Jesse. Well, I go and I'm on the phone. Hey, so guess what? You're going to deal with it. Not you. He's an angry man. 
that lied right at and the beginning of the thing, and he keeps on lying. We don't know me, so even where like, like you calling me a liar up. when hey, you have you, absolutely no evidence to support your facts. I just called you a liar. Fact. You live in Arizona. You are a liar. Uh, I'd like to know how you are so familiar you are with my upbringing liar. in Chicago. Hey, heart, uh, big streets and became a millionaire. Big whoopee doo. Yeah, you know, well, you called star. me a liar, and Big I got to do what I have to tax return to prove it. In front of us, uh, kids with much. You without any common sense, and you have uh, with, without any no common, common sense. Please tell me more how the hey, world is created by a woman who is made out of convinced by a talking you're snake liar. from a man. You're a liar. What? You're a liar. I'm, I'm a liar. Is that you're really all the ammunition you have? Is you're, you're a liar. liar with nothing to Brian, back up? Brian, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you, Brian.